Hi everyone, Jesus here. Today we're diving into a quick but powerful setup that's designed specifically for bulk customization inside my designs. If you want to create mock-ups that work perfectly for my designs automations, this tutorial is exactly what you need. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to prepare two input files or two smart object layers, specifically for use in my designs. This method is ideal if you want to offer different versions of your design, like a light and a dark version, while keeping it fully optimized for my design's bulk tools. Let's start. First, insert your two different placeholder images into your working Photoshop file. Before you do anything else, Make sure both images are rasterized. This is essential for my design's compatibility. If they aren't rasterized yet, right click on each layer and choose Rasterize Layer if the rasterized layer is grayed out. This means the layer is already rasterized. This step ensures your mock up is clean and ready for smooth my designs processing. Now, let's get organized. Rename the first placeholder image. Start the name with MD image. That's the required prefix for my designs to recognize it correctly, followed by a clear description. For example, I'll rename the first image to MD image light. Then, rename the second one to MD image dark. Clear, consistent naming is critical for my designs to properly bulk customize your mockups. Next step, right click the MD image light layer and choose convert to smart object. Do the same thing for the MD image dark layer. Both of these layers now act as smart objects, ready for dynamic updates inside my design's bulk engine. Once you've converted both, you can start making any necessary adjustments to finish the mock-up. You might want to add a mask so the design only appears on the product area. You can also apply effects like a heather texture if you're working with a fabric item, or tweak blending modes to make the design integrate more naturally. Now let's do a test run inside my designs to make sure everything is working perfectly. First, save your Photoshop file as a PSD. Then head over to My Designs and upload the PSD mockup. Run a quick test by assigning different designs. you'll immediately see that both smart object layers update dynamically with the new designs, exactly how we planned it. Whether you're offering light or dark versions, everything stays clean, professional, and ready to scale across hundreds of listings. If you found this tutorial helpful for your My Designs projects, be sure to hit like, drop a comment if you have any questions, and share it with someone who needs a better My Designs workflow. And don't forget to subscribe for more My Designs focused tutorials. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, happy creating with My Designs.